history is everywhere. And here we are in Whiting, New Jersey. And here we had three railroads came together. Pennsylvania Railroads, Atlantic Division crossed over right over here. There's now a large power line traces much of the route. Diamond Road is partially built over some of the route over this way. Over in these woods further over here was the uh, Central Railroad in New Jersey's Southern Division, Path of the Blue Comet. Those the tracks are still in place, although it hasn't been used for several years. And this paved trail that goes down through here would be the Tuckerton Railroad. So you could follow rail rights of way in five directions from waiting. But one of these things that's interesting here is this white fence. What is this? Is this nothing? Is this just a bunch of crap? What is it? No, this is the Tuckerton Railroad turntable. You can kind of see the edge of it there. Let's get over where you can see a little better. There you go. Similarly, the old station in Whiting has uh, another composite material fence around it, just off to the edge of Diamond Road over there. So there's a little bit of uh, obscure stuff here. So, the Atlantic Division of the Pennsylvania Railroad has been abandoned since the 1960s over here on this. Tuckerton Railroad built 1866. You got some great pictures of it over here. Tell us about the, uh, that was removed, 1940. Tuckerton Railroad, here's the, the station. Once again, it used to stand right over here, just inside those trees. The uh, Central Railroad and New Jersey line continued all the way out to a, a point on the Lower Delaware River. Um, and it's been abandoned for many years as you get down through the Pine Barrens. But it's uh, just sort of out of service and kept somewhat clear up in this area. Anyway, there's some more history. Thanks for watching.